Hey guys, welcome to the walkthrough of uh, my walkabout camper for sale. Um, here it is set up on Morton Island. Thought I'd just give you a bit of a walkthrough of it set up. So it's got the camper trailer itself, um, which is how it was when I got it. And then I got Craig from Walkabout Campers to build this beautiful 10 foot annex with a six foot porch on the front of it. So I'll just take you through right now and give you a little walk through. So all this section is pretty much brand new. This is the inside of the annex. So first thing you'll notice is I've got a full flooring kit from Sea Gear. This stuff's really good on sand. It doesn't let any sand through. If you get any sand in here, you can just give it a quick brush and um, it'll fall through the mat. So heaps and heaps of room inside here. You can see I've got room for tables and chairs. Uh, I've got LED lighting, which I'll throw in as well. Nice and bright and breezy during the day. Big large window there. You've got your big door there. The windows roll up at the sides. Over here, I've got a Drifter DPOR kitchen. Any of you that know anything about Drifter kitchens will probably know that they're the the best on the market and this is the big one the dpor um i think they retail for over two and a half grand so this entire unit here is all on teflon sliders it slides into the trailer to pack away um so you've got a uh, little 60 liter evercool fridge that's um part of that that's integrated into the unit and you've got this section here, which also fully slides out if you want. A couple of nice big drawers there for all your food um, and plates and cups. Another be bench on top there. Over in the kitchen itself, you've got drawers here for all your plates and cups, um, knives and forks, all that sort of stuff. Plenty of space underneath. Got a little pull-out thing here for your, um, for your washing up basin. This is one of those pump taps, which is linked to the 80 litre water tank underneath. Um, companion um, high flow gas stove there, which pumps out some pretty serious heat. And you've got the return over here where you can store heaps of other stuff. So heaps of bench space, really good kitchen to work with. Um, also over here i've got a little power box that's on a five meter lead that plugs into one of the andersons of the camper trailer so you've got a few outlets there and some usb ports for charging stuff i'm running a second fridge in here because we're doing a two-week trip at the moment so we've got uh, heaps of food so that's sort of the annex section there um then in the actual camper itself this is the original part of the trailer it was like it when um, when I bought it. So in here, you've got just your traditional folding camper trailer. So nice queen size mattress up here. Um, really comfy. Plenty of windows to open, including that bay window there that can be opened during rain and storms. No water comes in there. You can close up all these side ones, of course, if it's raining. Uh, double bunks for the kids and heaps of floor space to keep all your clothes and stuff. So you can just set it up with just this section if you don't want to put the full annex out, if you're only going for a night or something, and this section folds out really quickly. 